Hi, welcome to Arco Linux. We have uh, already a newer version of Arco Linux Online, but this is uh, 6.5.3. And uh, I was going over, or I have gone over all the articles on Arch Merge or Arch Merge, which is now Arco Linux, Arco Linux with a D. And I missed a few items. So, I want to have a separate tutorial about TIN2 because it deserves your attention if you're an open box. That's variety kicking in for you, so it changes my wallpapers for, uh, and it gets it all as well. So from desktopper.co we get these wonderful wallpapers. Don't have to do anything. Right, TIN2. So right mouse click. You have a lot of information in OpenBox and you have to go through them one by one. But these, these are the standard applications on your system. But these guys up here and down here are the ones that we made. So it's an actual text the choice to have it. So go check it out what's in here. And in here, for instance, is the Tint TUI. I'm going to restart it, edit this. And I do like the Tint TUI to GUI or graphic user interface. Now I am going to go back, so Alt uh, to the left with my arrow to get a lighter uh, wallpaper because here you see that there is a workspace 1, workspace 2, workspace 3 and workspace 4. So it's um, a toolbar, TIN2, which gives you information if you open something up then you see as well a button and you can decide to give the button also the text which is this which would be termite or something and that's that's your menu so that's tin2 now you can just select uh, a new one but you can also make new ones and that's the fun in tin2 GUI uh, you can actually create uh, other ones but that's for another tutorial this tutorial just hey let's have a look what do we have actually so you need to this is the standard one check out where it is it's tilt and then dot config tin2 so yeah it's in your own home folder so when we make an iso we've already put it there and that's the the magic of our system we tweak your system already and out of the box it looks lovely so that's what we do we make this thing already available to you so you could check it out you double clicking uh, opens normally tint2 uh, themes but um, you can also say, hey, let's open it with Sublime Text this time. And this is what you get. So all this information, TIN2 is going to understand this and is going to do something with it. Fine. Now, that's the, where the, what the, what the doll is. If you edit this file with the, this application, then you have everything in here, but then in a graphic user interface so it's the same as the file we just saw it's just less technical because it's just hey these are the backgrounds there are lots of colors you can ask and that's the panel do you want the panel at the top or do you want the panel at the bottom so it's just an apply away and then you have the panel here you see so all these elements can be changed the length is it compact or not apply now we have a compact panel so there are lots of settings in here that um, you can check out. And there was a tutorial about Tin2, but it's, it was a theming tutorial about everything. So I really think you should take a look at, if, if you're an open box or want to learn about open box, this is a great tool to investigate and see, hey, let's try it out. Do I like it? Can I change it? And you can apply it. Oh, it won't apply it then. Oh, okay, come back, sorry apply it so we have uh, all kinds of possibilities don't forget to scroll down lots and lots and lots of information out of height possible if you want, want that like that and there are panel items you want to see or not see so the taskbar these things system tray those things and the clock that thing so you can have more elements if you're on a, on a laptop the battery maybe the taskbar, show a taskbar for each desktop. There's a lot of information in here that we cannot go into uh, all of them, but there's uh, definitely something interesting for you to do. Even clicking here, so right click close 
and we can I hope no that's team two that's team two let's open something up so we're sure this is termite right mouse click it's set here that the right click is going to close applications maybe you didn't know but it's set here so you can change it and say I don't want that I want to toggle iconify shade and so on so there's so so many possibilities show an icon or not show text or not so that's maybe an interesting as well so you see the text in the task buttons uh, maybe we should restart as possible I don't know task button I'm thinking this is a task button right yeah that's the task button because the icon is gone aha the text is in there Eric it's just very 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 dark okay so apply that's one thing and then we have to make the width a bit longer a bit a size a bit okay and now the size is the color is not good font color is too dark so we can't see don't want opacity okay anyway less apply and there you have it so it's so easy it's so functional it's um great now the launcher you can have also applications up here but look at this Sardi icons and these are not Sardi icons so uh, that's a little bit more difficult he does not recognize the icon theme even if you set it there is down there possibility to set the icon theme even so um, he does not understand so that's that's an issue but we can't solve it it's a tin 2 issue if you want to have a second line format you can have as well it becomes a little bit crowded and the text is a little bit too small to read so I left it out here is the calendar so if you click on on this thing we launch actually G simple call that's what we launch it's an application that shows up oh I closed it so you have here a number of there's lots of potential in this uh, system and um, go check it out now if you just say too technical for me all you need to do is just say okay apply this thing and now we have already well that's that's normal that's my uh, simple screen recorder that sometimes happens I can't close it now because I'm filming but that's okay you won't have that so select anything you like so here we have these workspaces again of course so these are the arc themes you know of course the arc themes and all the different colors so these tin two guys go with it and maybe we should make some more because we made also new arc themes so that's an idea for another project but there are also very um, new things that you uh, not do not have the arc look at all you see two three four is down here all these things we've created everything that has a name Arco Linux has been created by us and Arsenius voila yes so well take a look this is all black then <coughs> and the things that do not have let's get one that's not uh, from Arco Linux so these guys are coming from tin2 themselves so they have created as well some examples so to give you ideas what's possible and all the way down there are very strange things possible as you see uh, but it's it's uh, the way you want it anything is possible really as you see vertical neutral icons now we have this as menu it's all okay for us you just choose what you're comfortable with what you like what you what you feel is appropriate also with the wallpaper because that's often a design issue eh? thinking okay I'm gonna take those icons that theme that wallpaper and that panel so go ahead have fun and like uh, you see all these things have been created so it's um, the only thing you need is some creativity some imagination and all you have to do is uh, well go into this application open it up and say okay what parameters do I have what can I change and make it bigger big advice a very good tip make it bigger because there's lots of information <coughs> in there you have to click there voila, it's gone. so we've um, like for instance not that one not that one here we've already a slider going a little bit down so if you maximize your 
we'll see all the settings and lots of settings in here. All right, this was TIN2. Have fun, be creative, and if you have maybe new files, so you can save these files, apply, and then you can, well, actually it's, it's applied on TINT2RC, you see? So rename it, put it somewhere else, and then you can select it. You can select it, well, keep it in your .config TIN2, maybe is a good thing. Maybe Eric, just do what you say. TIN2, so I've made something. All these things are my changes. So we change something and then we've saved it, change, save, change, save. So it keeps backups. So I changed everything. This is my thing now, Control C, Control V. I like what I see. You come up with a great name. And then, I don't know, Eric. Oh. And then you go inside here, you open it up again, say, come show me what you have. Tin to GUI. And it should be in here somewhere. Depending if it's in user share, because we put everything in user share tin 2. And the question is, is he reading actually the folder? I guess not. I guess not. He's not reading the folder. Import theme. Can we do that? Eric, control H config maybe I've missed it maybe not gonna see if I can import it as well it's not imported or do we not see the difference okay I went inside user share tin2 because it hit me it needs probably an extension so tin2 RC is what he's trying to find. He's finding, trying to find these files into RC. Meaning, go back, go back, go back, and go to the config, tin2, and we should rename it to tint2rc. Rename, then close up. We can close up that as well, and go to tin2, oops, missed it, go to tin to GUI and here you have your tin to RC Eric which is of course the same copy paste but then you have these files and I just want to finish with the last suggestion let's assume you say whoa I made a beautiful tin to scene to, to tint to theme and I want to share it with the guys at Arco Linux please do we're always eager to get more um, to please more people. That's basically what we do. We share what we create. All right. Enjoy.